In this question, uh, the question states that you are given a sample of potassium oxide K2O and it is dissolved in 250 cm cube distilled water. So uh, that's the first part. So I've drawn a diagram over here. Uh, I have K2O and that's dissolved in uh, water. So when K2O dissolved in water, it forms KOH. So two KOH molecules are formed. So a 250 cm cube solution is produced. It's dissolved in distilled water. And the next part of the question states uh, that uh, once this is all in 50 cm cube distilled water, 25 cm cube sample of this solution is titrated against sulfuric acid of concentration 2 mole per dm cube. So what the next part states is that once this solution is made, 25 cm cube of this solution is taken and it is so only 25 cm cube is taken and that's titrated. So you, so you basically have 25 cm cube of KOH in this flask and it's titrated with sulfuric acid so you're adding sulfuric acid from the top H2SO4 and it's given us the concentration of sulfuric acid which is 2 mole per decimeter cube so that's given he's titrating it with the sulfuric acid and the other thing that's mentioned is that 15 cm cube of this sulfuric acid is needed for complete neutralization so he's also given us the volume so the volume is also known which is 15 cm cube. So uh, what he's asking for is, he's asking for the mass of potassium oxide which was originally dissolved into 50 cm cube of distilled water. So the way you're going to answer this question is, so let's look at the diagram. The first thing that you need to know do is, uh, you need to find the moles of sulfuric acid that are added uh, from, the, uh, from the burette. So moles is concentration multiplied by volume and the concentration that's given is 2 mole per dm cube and the volume that's given is 15 cm cube and you're going to divide that by 1000 because that should be in dm cube that would give you the moles of sulfuric acid so let's use our calculators to solve that so it's 2 multiplied by 15 and divided by 1000 so the value that i'm getting is 0 0.03 moles so you have 0 0.03 moles of h2so4 and using the moles of H2SO4, we can figure out the moles of KOH, but we first need to know what the reaction, what is the equation for the reaction. So we need to construct an equation of KOH reacting with sulfuric acid plus H2SO4. And the product is going to be, it's a base plus acid reaction. So the product is going to be K2SO4 plus H2O. And we also need to balance this reaction. So there are two Ks over here, two KOH over there, and that would be four hydrogens on the left hand side. So there would be two water molecules. Now this equation is balanced. And we already know the moles of H2SO4 that are being added. So let's use those moles. The moles of H2SO4 that were added were 0 0.03 moles. Now using ratios, if you look at the equation, one mole reacts with two moles. So if one mole is reacting with two moles, the amount of moles of KOH must be double the amount of H2SO4. So if you have 0 0.03 moles, uh, the amount of moles of KOH would be 0 0.06 moles. Because the equation states that one H2SO4 reacts with two, so it's one ratio two, so 0 0.03 would react with 0 0.06 moles. So that's the moles of KOH that were present, and these moles were present in 25 cm cube. Now he's asking us to find the mass of K2O in the original sample of uh, the solution that we made. Now, so this these moles are present in 25 cm cube. So we can use ratios. What we can uh, do is that we know that this 25 cm cube sample contains how many moles of KOH? It contains 0 0.06 moles of KOH. So that's the number of moles present in this 25 cm cube sample, which was taken from this 250 cm cube sample. So 250 cm cube sample, so we can use ratios. So if 25 cm cube sample contains these many moles, so 250 cm cube sample would contain how many moles? So you, we can use crisscross, or, or it's pretty obvious that if 25 cm cube mo, uh, contains 0 0.06 moles, 250 cm cube would contain 10 times the, uh, that moles. So the number of moles of KOH would be uh, using this, this um, 
uh, we can actually find this using the unitary method using crisscross. So it's it's basically your final answer is going to be 0 0.06 uh, multiplied by 250 and divided by 25 and this comes out to be equal to 0.6 moles. So this sample over here contains 0.6 moles of KOH. But again, he's not interested in the amount of KOH. He's interested in what was the original mass of K2O that was dissolved. Now, looking at this uh, equation, these are the moles of KOH that are present in 250cm cube solution. So, using this equation, uh, the amount of KOH and the amount of K2O, the ratio in the moles is 2 ratio 1. So, if 2 KOH are produced, 1 K2O would be used. So, if 0.6 are produced, half of that would be used. Using ratios, it's going to be 0.2. 3 moles of K2O. So we have finally reached, we have finally figured out the amount of moles of K2O that would be needed to make KOH uh, 250 cm cube solution. So it's going to be 0.3 moles. And the last thing we need to do is we need to find the mass. So I'm going to calculate, try and calculate the mass of K2O. So mass of K2O would be equal to moles, which is 0 0.3 multiplied by the MR of K2O, which is K is 39, but there are two K, so it's 39 into 2 plus 16. So it's 0.3 multiplied. So using my calculator, it's going to be 0 0.3 multiplied by uh, 39 into 2 and plus 16. And the answer that I'm going to get is 28.2 grams. So I'm going to look for the closest answer and the closest answer that uh, is that is uh, given is 28.3 grams. Remember the only difference is the difference, uh, the decimal difference is basically because of the MR. I'm using uh, MR values from a periodic table that it has rounded values. A more accurate MR or AR value would give me a closer answer. So the closest answer that I have is 28.3 grams. So this is my answer to this question.